out in the field. Gonna be out. Well, we were out yesterday. Gonna be out today. Gonna be out tomorrow, and then it's gonna rain again. I was actually planning on primering the Bronco yesterday, and then we decided to go to the field. And with the rain coming, if I can get an hour on Thursday, I might get it done. But after Thursday, it looks like it's going to turn rather cool for the near future, anyway. So this might be my last chance. Anyway, let's get to the field. Well, they are way over there, the combine and the auger wagon. Not sure if you can even see them, but uh, a little drier out in this field looks like than where I was yesterday. I got the semi stuck yesterday, trying to turn around on one of the headlands. Didn't have my camera with me, so missed missed a good video opportunity there. But anyway, we're getting her done. And like I was saying, I planned on primering the Bronco yesterday Hopefully I can get it done the day after tomorrow. We'll we'll see how it goes. I have it pretty much all ready to spray primer on. Still have to do a little bit of taping and papering and then just need to wipe the whole thing down. But like I said, if I can get all that done after we're done in the field here the next couple of nights, maybe on Thursday I can get primer on that thing. Beautiful day though here in central Iowa. Nothing but clear blue skies. It's supposed to be about 70 degrees today. I'm not sure what it is right now. Must be in the must be around 60 maybe. And we just got going a little bit ago. I hauled two loads into town first thing this morning. And uh, then we put an auger up to one of our bins. We're gonna be hauling this field. It's going to town. It's just going to to that town. It's just going to that town right right over there. Then tomorrow we're gonna haul into one of our own bins and then like I said, it's gonna rain. So we're probably gonna be out of the field uh, probably Thursday, probably Thursday, Friday, possibly Saturday. It's supposed to rain Wednesday night, Thursday, Thursday night into Friday and then it's supposed to clear off and it'll probably rain again in a few days the way things are going. And the beans haven't been too bad. They were just talking on the radio said this field isn't quite as good, but we're in, uh, but yesterday, well, yesterday we did a field. It made, I think it made about 65 bushels the acre, so uh, not too bad. So he's heading out to get a little more back of the truck isn't quite full yet. A little breezy out here, but uh Making progress, making progress. Actually getting a little warm out right now. We use tractors and wagons today. Yeah, uh, hauling into our, hauling into our own bin. And thought it might be easier with tractors and wagons. We can't really pull them around out in the field too much just because the field's too wet. So, 
so we will see how it goes. I'll get back with you when I get to the field. Well, we got done with the field we were in, which is just around the other side of the road, and came back over here to this field. I think it's going to start raining here before too long. Weather Channel says, I think they say in two hours, AccuWeather says 53 minutes, and it looks to me like there is a little cell of rain that might be here in about an hour, so we'll see on that. Once it starts raining, we're probably going to be done. Well, if it starts raining, we will be done, so. And we really need to quit before it starts raining. If we can, so we can get everything put away, get the combine inside, trucks inside, tractors, wagons, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, we'll see, that's just how it goes. The field, hanging down in the shop here with Buddy. And I don't believe we're gonna be in the field tomorrow. Started raining on us. Well, I actually wasn't out there as my turn to take a little bit of a break. Heater just kicked on in there. Anyway, it's raining out right now. It's thundering and lightning. Well, it was. I don't see any at the moment. But it's raining. Was was coming down pretty good a few minutes ago. Uh, there were some. Pretty much 100% chance of rain tonight. 100% chance of rain tomorrow. I don't think we're supposed to get too much, but definitely enough to keep us out of the field tomorrow. So we'll get back in here to the shop, shut the heater off so I can talk. Or I should say heaters. Got them both running because it'll heat it up real quick. It's not real cold outside, but just enough, just cool enough to turn the heaters on. But I've got the Bronco not quite ready yet, but almost. Got all the doors taped up on it. All the door jams and everything, they're all, they're all back taped. The, the uh, side windows are taped up. Got to do the windshield yet. Trying to get the front end of this thing covered up because I had that radiator support all nicely painted and everything. Have it pretty well covered underneath there. And then I'm going to hang some off of the hood. Probably tie it down underneath somewhere. Not sure 100% what I'm gonna do here. You don't see this part anyway, but since I got nice paint on it, I hate to uh, mess it all up, but if I do, I do. Phone's ringing. Hold on. And I can talk to them later, but uh, anyway, in the back, I got the tailgate. You know, I had it all painted up, got it all covered up and everything. Need to cover all the back end up. I got the dent fixed over here that I managed to put into it. So pretty much ready. All I really need to do, and it may happen tomorrow, it's, it'll, it, I think it's gonna be warm enough that I could shoot primer tomorrow, back it out of here, bag the wheels and tires, and uh, get some primer on this thing. Only problem is with 100% chance of rain, drippy drippy from the ceiling out there, but surely I'm gonna have, I, surely I'll have an hour tomorrow afternoon sometime, mid to late afternoon, where I can get some primer on this. If not, temperature's gonna get too cold. It's gonna cool off into the 40s and 50s. That's not gonna work. So, it looks like tomorrow is my last chance, as of right now anyway, to get primer on the Bronco. And if I do manage to get primer on the Bronco tomorrow, I'm, I, I gotta decide what I'm gonna do. I wanna get primer on it, really because there's just too much bare metal on it, you know, on the doors, back here on the, on the sides. And I don't want that to end up rusting over the winter, which I don't think it will because winter's pretty dry, but I'd like to get that taken care of. So at least get primer on it. And I may, 
I may put the Bronco in the old shop over there for the winter if I get it primered because I don't think there's much chance of me getting the Grabber Blue on it this year. Maybe we may have a heat wave come through, but uh, it's probably going to have to be after harvest if that happens. So just not 100% sure what I'm going to do. If I get primer on it and can't get the Grabber Blue on it, you know, like I said, I, I may put it over in the old shop for the winter time and uh, pull my pickup in here because there are some things I would like to do on it. Although one of the things on the green truck that I want to do, I could get started on with the Bronco in here. It, uh, I don't know, I'll have to figure that out. But anyway guys, I think Buddy wants out. Although, Buddy, you're gonna get all wet if you go out. You look tired. Anyway, I don't believe, I don't believe we're gonna be in the field tomorrow. We're usually done with beans by now. In fact, there was one year, 2012, I think we were all done with harvest in early October. And I'm just recording black, but I thought it was gonna thunder. It keeps lightning, but. Anyway, guys, yeah, there it is. Rumble, rumble. Anyway, guys, that is the situation we're with. Um, one of the things on the, the truck here, boy, she is filthy dirty, but one of the things I wanna do is, on the other side, if you've been watching my videos, you know she has a problem down in here. I wanna get that taken care of. It has gotten a little bit worse, not terrible, but uh, there's something going on there. So I wanna get that taken care of. And just, I, I may not say what the other one is, just in case that doesn't, doesn't, uh, doesn't happen, but. Anyway, just messing around down here in the shop now. I got, this is the old, uh, this is the radio out of, used to be in my pickup, two-way radio. We have our own private channel. And we got new radios, eh, that was a few years back, and new, new bases, power supplies. And I remember being told that these old ones, this one's been sitting in the old shop for a few years now. I remember being told that they wouldn't work with these new radios. Well, I said the heck with it. I was going to try it. So I tried it and it does work. Um, channel one is our channel. Then we have weather channel programmed into channel two. Sitting on 162.55 megahertz. This broadcast originates from the National Weather Service at Des Moines, Iowa. The current and then, is I don't remember what three is. I don't know if it's anything. I think four used to be used to be a police channel, but I think they may have changed things. Light showers and because I haven't heard anything on that tonight. Didn't have an antenna for it, so I, I shoved a piece of wire back into uh, where the antenna connects to. Couldn't pick up the weather channel before, but now you can thunderstorms high in the so i think it's working so now if i'm if i'm taking a break or if i just happen to be down here we're in the field i can i can hear what's going on anyway just a little something i was doing tonight so anyway guys with that being said i'm gonna mess around down here a little bit more than head up to the house so give this video a big old thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you haven't already We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.